Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're taking a look at an Aerodactyl Galley deck updated with the Puzzle of Time ban and also Celestial Storm. Um, now I'm going to be doing some expanded content for a little bit. Obviously, rotation's coming soon, but there is a bit of a weird thing going on in PDCGO. There's people playing Pulsation decks on the ladder, and then there's people still playing Breakthrough and On, so it's a little weird, and I don't want to play against a Breakthrough and On deck when I'm playing a deck that doesn't have End, Sycamore, Floatstone, or Bridget. It does not seem very fair and balanced, so we're going to be doing some expanded decks for now. Um, I can try and find a match in, on the ladder using a Pulse Rotation deck um, to see if I can actually get a good game with it. Um, that is, you know, um, like a, another uh, Sun and Moon On deck. It's just going to be a little hard. I might try it out, uh, but we're going to look at some expanded decks for a bit, but then we'll hop back to standard, probably on Monday, or maybe Sunday. Um, but let's take a look at today's deck, and that's Aerodactyl Gallade. Now, Aerodactyl Gallade has been a very cool expanded deck for a while. However, this deck played one very big card. This deck ran Puzzle of Time, and we now know Puzzle of Time is banned from expanded. So, Aerodactyl losing Puzzle, it's a pretty big hit to the deck. However, is it a hit that will hurt the deck in the long run? We're going to test it out, and we're going to see how this deck does without Puzzle of Time. So the deck itself is fairly simple. Um, well, it's a complicated deck. It's not like very skill heavy to play. Like you don't have to like be super smart, but you kind of do. You have to know how to do your maxis, everything like that. The two main attackers, of course, are Aerodactyl here. Aerodactyl is your restored Pokemon. The only way to get into play is with a Fossil. Um, but it does have the attack Jet Draft. For a DC, you do 120 damage, discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So this attack is pretty good, um, 120 damage is a decent number, and you also discard a special energy. Now, when you're playing a Zorak GX, you get rid of their special energies with Jet Draft, and that is pretty good. Now, this deck can also beat Zorak and other methods using a Gallade here. Gallade is our Maxis Pokemon. Not only do we have Premonition, which can guarantee us the cards we need, we also have Sensitive Blade, which one-shots a Zorak GX. For a DC, you do 60 damage if you play a supporter card from your hand during this turn, this attack does 70 more damage. So you can do 130 damage, one shot of Zork entirely, and just tear through them. So this has always been a very interesting combo um, with Aerodactyl and Gallade. Now the deck, yeah, again, originally made a puzzle of time um, to be able to just continuously streamline your cards. See, so you, you know, it's a lot easier to you have double puzzle to be able to pull off more Aerodactyls and more Maxis Gallades. But now that puzzle of time is not in the format, now that it has been banned, this deck kind of takes a bit of a blow, um, not gonna lie, the deck, it's not worse without it, but it's also not too great, it really did like having that puzzle of time in the deck, it doesn't have any more, so it is gone entirely, so how can the deck adjust without puzzle of time, well, there's a few things, well, since it's Celestial Storm, I've decided to throw in a counter stadium, I threw in Shine of Punishment, obviously stuff like Parallel City is also pretty good, but I'm going to play Shrine of Punishment between turns, put one damage counter on each Pokemon GX and EX. This deck never takes one shots unless you're hitting a Zoark GX or a Darkrai EX. Aerodactyl hits nothing for weakness. Um, so Shrine of Punishment can help out with the math a little bit. It's also just nice to have. And I decided, hey, this deck probably does need some kind of counter stadium. So I was like, Shrine of Punishment seems pretty punishing to have. Um, but again, there's a lot of items in this deck. And... Basically, everything else in the deck kind of goes the same. We are playing two different Orangaroos. I am playing the Resource Management Orangaroo. This deck does get pretty low on cards, considering you have to consistently burn your hand to pull off a Maxis. You have to kind of burn through your deck to be able to get an Aerodactyl in play. So the deck can run a little low on cards. Um, obviously, this deck probably auto-loses to Waylord, but we do have a Ranguru in here to get us our stuff back. And we do have Instruct also, which is helpful uh, we are playing two copies of Unknown. Unknown with Premonition is actually a pretty good combo. If you Premonition for a DCE and put on top, you can Unknown and get that DCE. Uh, we do play one Sid of Widow in this deck also for Roadblock. Again, if we play against something like Zoark, we can prevent them from doing big damage. We are playing one Tapu Lele with Wonder Tag, and we have one Shaman for setup. And this is the rest of history. We go to the items now. We got four Battle Compressors to be able to put things in the discard pile. Um, considering, you know, it helps us get the Maxis combo off. One Computer Search. Um, all, like, Computer Search, Trainer's Mail, Ultra Ball, Order Pad. They're all here to help us pull off a turn one Maxis. They're all just cards you can burn to do it. 
Uh, we are playing two fossil excavation kits along with four old amber aerodactyls. The only way we can get aerodactyl in play is with this card. Look at the bottom seven cards of your deck. You may reveal an aerodactyl you find there and put it on your bench. This is one of the only ways to get aerodactyl in play. We got four fossil, wait, four. we got two fossil excavation kits, sorry, to be able to get those fossils back. We are playing four copies of Order Pad. Um, again, one of the important ways to get in play. We are playing one red card. Um, assuming it's here for Zoark. I actually kind of forgot in all honesty, but yeah, it's probably just here for Zoark. Um, especially if you discard their special energy this new turn. We got one Rescue Stretcher to be able to get our Pokemon back. We got one special charge, again, for our DCEs. It's like, I think almost two special charge might be a lot better to have than just one. Especially now that Puzzle's gone, because when Puzzle's in the format, you didn't really have to worry about having multiple special charges, but now that Puzzle's gone, maybe two special charge is the way to go. I don't know. Again, four male, four ultra balls, all cards to help us pull off the maxis combo, four via seekers for supporters. I am going with two shines in this deck also. We got one Cynthia to be able to have draw support. We got one in, one Sycamore for draw support. Two Guzmas, because it's Guzma. One thing to note, Aerodactyl does have a free retreat cost and a fighting resistance, so pretty nice to have Guzma. Two maxis in and ball trick. Again, this is how we pull off the combo with Gallade and get Gallade in a play that way. We don't wear candy. We got two Flowstones. One Focus Ash, this can be great with Gallade, um, and maybe even Sita Wudo if your opponent, you know, tries to Zork Sita Wudo up, and, you know, Sita Wudo gets Focus Ash on it, but also Gallade, so they can't one-shot your Gallade, and then Gallade just one-shots them right back, and then you can take four prizes with Gallade if you think about it, right, you know, you knock them out, and then they try to hit you, but you Focus Ash on them, and you respond with a KO once again, and you take four prizes on Zork. Fun things can happen, and just four DCs, because that's all we need in this deck. So yeah, this is the Aerodactyl and Galilee deck that's been getting a lot of play over the expanded seasons, and now the puzzle's gone, and the deck loses a card that I'd like to have, but we'll see if it can adjust without puzzle, so I'll catch you guys in a minute with some matches with the deck. Alright guys, let's get some games with the Aerodactyl deck, and if you guys do want to see any Celestial Storm decks converted into an expanded version, or a Celestial Storm card in expanded, definitely... Let me know. I am looking into a Blaziken in Expanded deck. I also kind of want to do a Ludicolo Expanded deck. I'm not going to spoil how that deck is, um, but I do have some Expanded decks in mind for some Social Storm cards. But you guys want to see any more, because I'm probably going to be doing Social or Expanded videos until, you know, post station happens. Okay, so we definitely have Turn 1. Um, we definitely have Turn 1 Gallade here, most likely, unless we get unlucky. Aerodactyl being in the hand kind of sucks. That's fine, though. We do have resource management. Kind of why I did start with a Ranguru here. Kind of helps us replace the special charge puzzle time thing. We can just get back our energies and stuff with the, with the resource management when we need to. My opponent is playing a lightning deck. So it could be an electric deck. We'll have to see. He's playing Silvali. Alright, so we did draw Focus Sash. Um, we'll do Order Pad first. Try and find... Okay, my order pack gets tails. Great. Alright, let's see what we get here. Ultra Ball, yep, that works. Alright, so Ultra Ball is perfect. We'll have to get rid of Guzma and Aerodactyl. I would like to get rid of the Focus Ash and then Resource Management if back. We'll grab Layla. As long as we have both Maxis, we're good. Okay, so we do have Maxis this turn, 100%. Wait, no, we don't. Oh, I misplayed that. Oh. Yeah, I misplayed. Unless I, like, no, we don't have it. Rip, 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 rip. I played that like an idiot. Alright, we'll have to do Cynthia. Alright, that was my bad for not thinking very straight there. But it looks like we'll have it here. So that's fine. Yeah, kind of a bit of a dumb misplay there. I thought we had the, um, I thought we had the maxis, but we didn't. So that's my bad. I'm just gonna pass. We have, we should have it for next turn. Yeah, I kind of botched that. I thought I had, like, I thought I could computer search for battle compressor, but never mind. My opponent might just let me win here. Um, okay. Then we'll definitely have it if my opponent isn't even playing. We should be good. We'll get rid of one maxis. I mean, we should have it, right? We do need to get a via seeker. I can always Lele if I really or Shaman if I really have to. And alright, nice, via Seeker. Perfect. So we do have Maxis. We should we could win this turn. 
um, potentially. I am going to get Unknown here. Now, if when I do Maxis this turn, and I do manage to get... I do have Maxis in there, right? Okay, good. I do have it. Now, if I do get a DC off Primo Wishin, um, I can Unknown, get it for free, and KO this Type Null, and get this game over with. So that's going to be the plan. Okay, um, not a bad hand, actually. We'll play Order Patch, see if we can get ourselves... Nope, never mind. I was hoping we can get a another old amber aerodactyl there and all right nice we actually do get aerodactyl into play so that's good uh we'll do primo wishing and if we have a dce on the top of our deck we do not okay so we will not be able to get what we need next time okay that's fine do i just pass i think i just pass yeah there's nothing else to really do with this hand that kind of sucks that we didn't get the um, we didn't get the DC just to win this game. My opponent doesn't even look like he's playing that much of a series of deck. So volley Raichu, okay. My opponent will actually do switch. Okay, so we'll try and tackle with Aerodactyl this turn. Again, we have resource management. I can always just settle with a resource management if I really want to. Um, oh. I think I might actually do that, and then next turn we'll Guzma up the, uh, we'll Guzma up that, um, we'll Guzma up the Silvali and knock it out. That seems like a decent, um, play by me. Uh, everything else, I, what to put on, what would I need? I guess, I guess the, the case where we need to pull off another Archie, or another Maxis next turn in case my pull knocks me out, I guess Dretcher would be the case? I don't know. In case I do need to do maxis again, I guess that'll be the play. I am going to do resource may. Oh, no, it shuffles the deck. Never mind. There's no point. All right. Yeah, I think I still do maxis here. Or resource management. Just for the turn, we have it. And we're going to put back some stuff. Might as well put back... You know, no, we'll put back a trash now. We'll just get some important stuff back. Again, we, are, we were low on... We had 16 cards left, so we might as well do this. And then next turn... Will be a Seeker Guzma knock out that Sofali. Go from there. That's why I like having a Ranger in this deck. Because, like, usually it's like, oh, why would you want to do resource management? He's actually going to choose to knock out my Ranguru here, which I'm fine with. Ranguru, you, you did it for a healthy cause. We got back important stuff, and that's all that matters. I want to actually go into Tapu Coco. Okay, never mind. And he's playing Fanny Fairy Bell. That's a little annoying. So, my opponent kind of caught me off guard there, not going to lie. I was hoping we could knock out Sobali. Now I wish I knocked it out a little earlier. That's fine, though. That's fine. Not a big deal. We do have a Stretcher. Okay. Well, Stretcher put the Oranguru back in our hand. I would shuffle, but it's like, why would I do that? We get all the galleys back. We'll do Primo Wishin. I'm probably going to go for another Maxi Sidon Ball Trick here. So, if I do Maxis, I'll have to get rid of Aerodactyl. And whatever I draw off of this... Um, whatever I draw here, I guess I get rid of two. So, I guess we'll get rid of an Old Amber. And then everything else we can keep. I guess, I don't know. Maybe that is what I get, maybe not what I get rid of. It's fine. We should be able to pull off the Maxis, though. I do want to get a second Gallade in play. So we'll get rid of we'll have to get rid of Aerodactyl and an old Amber Aerodactyl, but we do have access to a Ranguru if we need it. We'll special charge. We even get the Focus Sash, which is pretty important, especially if he like decided if he I don't know, I doubt he'll pull off a rebel play, but if he did, well that is not gonna happen anymore. So we'll have to chain another Maxis here. Just to guarantee the second Gallade. And, alright, we got two more DCEs. Might as well play Primo Wishin. We'll definitely be getting Shrine of Punishment. That's, like, 100% guaranteed. I wish I could get... Wait, Trainer's Mail does give Stadium free. Yeah, we're good. Okay, never mind. I thought, for a second there, I didn't think uh, Trainer's Mail would get a Stadium, but it does. Lele will take damage. I don't really care. And we'll just Sensitive Blade him for 130. I'm not gonna KO him, but... Shine the Punishments will do some extra work for us. Makes it a little easier to kill this Coco. So I we'll have to see if my opponent 
Oh, he's playing Raichu. Okay. There's really no way out of that, is there? Why are you playing Raichu? Oh my gosh. Alright, well, that's a little annoying. We have to get hit with a Paralysis, but um, our hand still ain't bad. Still have a few Via Seekers left, so it's fine. We need to do... We need to do Le Guzma. Or not Le Guzma, sorry. We need to do... Yeah, we need to get a Guzma. I mean, I don't even think I'm drawn to Via Seeker, though. So it doesn't really matter. I was expecting that to be a Raichu GX, though. But it's not for some reason, which is a little annoying. And he's going to go in with another Tapu Koko. Oh my goodness, guys. We're actually getting... We're getting a bit of a beatdown here. Not going to lie, we are actually getting a bit of a beatdown. He does have one card in his hand, though, which is, I guess, a saving grace. Trying to punish Mints is doing his job, which is good. We don't have a Field Blower, though, to get rid of that, which sucks. So, we're kind of a sitting duck right now, which is annoying. I don't want to play Shaman with Shrine. I think I just do that and try and go from there. It's fine, though. We should actually knock out this Coco next turn anyways, I think, as long as no other Fighting Fear Balls come down. We're doing 130. We're gonna be oh no, he's gonna be ten. we're gonna be ten short knocking out this Coco, I think, actually, even if we do such a blade. Maybe this deck needs like a Dionce or something. I guess, I don't know. He still has only one card in his hand though, and now he has no cards in his hand, so he's basically in top deck mode. So Gala gets KO'd. We're definitely gonna need to do resource management soon. And the China Punishment keeps doing its thing. This Coco is heavily damaged. Oh no, we do knock him out. That's right. Okay, we actually do. Oh no, we need to play a supporter. Okay. Oh, we need to play a supporter. Okay, did not think that one through, not gonna lie. We should be able to hit it though. Literally, we can just set up. We're guaranteed to draw something. Probably just computer search. We will, I don't want to put Shaman in play, but we do have Sky Return if we do need it. We're really going to need to do a Ranguru soon. We are running pretty darn low on cards here. We'll get rid of Red Card, Trainer's Mail, for Via Seeker. I honestly don't even know if, what I can, what supporter to play. Does Cynthia deck me out? No, we'll have one card left if we do Cynthia. And then I guess I retreat and go with Ranguru. I mean, I hope I'm not getting decked out, but I'm pretty sure I'm good. Yeah, we'll have one card left. So next turn, we really need to do resource management. We needed to do all of this just to knock him out, though. And we will take it. Shrine of Punishment's extra damage will finish him off. We'll have to do Sky Return eventually, too, soon. But, um... Thanks to a Ranguru, we should be okay here with resource management. Or we can always do another Cynthia and bias another turn. It's all good. We should be okay for now. We might even be able to win in the coming turns. This thing's taking like three more turns and it gets KO'd. This guy can easily be Guzma. So I can always do Guzma next turn, but I can't. I have to do resource management. So I think I have to take the time to build up my board state a little bit more. I do not have much of a choice but to do resource management. And then after that, I might have to go Sky Return. Or something. So my opponent's like, oh, ooh, I win the game. Joke's on you. You do not. Not even close. So we will do resource management. And we gotta put back the goodies. We'll put back two verse seekers. We'll put back a DCE. Well, it doesn't really matter. I could put back special charge, I guess. Whatever. Who cares? This Coco will go down in one more turn. So if he doesn't get rid of this shrine, we're good. Or next turn, we'll KO it anyways. So that Coco goes down regardless. This West Shrine of Punishments is good. Because this deck doesn't take one-shots, and you can kind of see how it's coming in. He could Volkner here if he plays a Field Blower. He could Field Blower me. Nope, looks like he is opting not to do that. And as long as I can just keep resource management, like, if I get another turn, I'm fine. Because as long as we just put our deck back, we should be okay. Should be okay. My opponent will put Electric down, okay. Hopefully we get some Aerodactyl action eventually, too. We can't really use in this matchup because it is weak. To Lightning Plus, Savali just one shots it anyways with Turbo Drive. It looks like he's gonna be trying to take a knockout soon with Raichu. Okay, well, 
We win the game because we have Guzma in the discard, so we win. And that will be game. So, a resource management saved us there. We were able to prevent us from decking out. Um, I mean, we did have the Via Seeker for Cynthia, but getting back our Via Seekers, regardless, is still useful to have with the Ranguru because now we just do this, and that Sovali GX on the bench is going to get knocked out. And this is why Oranguru is helpful in this type of a deck where you burn through your deck very quickly. There you go. There you go. Though I think Order Pad, Order Pad was like not doing much for us in that matchup though, unfortunately. It kind of didn't help us at all. Ooh, we got a Guardian's Rising pack, guys. We'll open it up here. Um, he did have Raichu GX. Okay, well, he actually had Thunderous GX. I have not seen that card at all before in this game. I forgot it even existed. Thunderous and Tornadoes G Why am I going to the shop, Rip? I meant to go to my collection. All right, we're going to open up the uh, Guardian's Rising pack. And, well, last week we pulled a Full Art Tapu Lele GX. Let's see if we can repeat history today and pull another Tapu Lele GX. That would be amazing. Here we go. Nope. Solgaleo. Solgaleo. Well, for it. Okay. So, no GX. Whatever. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I think we'll see you guys in just a moment with a another game. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get a second game with the Aerodactyl Galley deck. I don't know if we'll play against Zork, but uh, we'll have to see. So yeah, here we go. We're playing against Volk, actually. Volk's going to be an interesting matchup. I do want to look at Turbo Turtle soon, but there's like, oh my gosh. I just did a Ho-Oh video. Um, I plan on doing a Blaziken video, whether that's going to be Ho-Oh Blaziken or just straight Blaziken, which probably Ho-Oh Blaziken is the better one to play because it's funner. Straight Blaziken doesn't seem as consistent. Um, and then there's also Turbo Turtles. That's like three fire decks to do all in one week. That's kind of insane. Not to mention Dragon Majesty comes out very soon anyway. So there's going to be more decks that have fire things in it. So this hand, oh, unfortunately, doesn't look like we have what we need to do. We'll have to probably just Lele for Cynthia. Unless we draw a computer search and get an Ultra Ball or something on our mail, we should be okay. Okay, um, do I even want to do Trainer's Mail? Do I just, even if I hit a computer, like, I'm just, I'm just going to Cynthia. I'm just going to do Enter Cynthia. I think we'll end him. There's really no point in playing this hand out. Actually, uh, okay, I'll probably still play this. I do need to get Battle Compressor, actually. Uh, that works too, Old Amber Aerodactyl. Anything, you know, Old Amber Battle Compressor would have been fine. And Rip, we don't get Aerodactyl. That's the problem with Old Amber Aerodactyl. Sometimes you don't get what you need. We'll end my opponent. And we'll see what we find here. Okay, that is definitely a turn two maxis. Okay, that's good. Um, but where do I want to put these DCEs? Do I want to attach it to Lele? I might, I might have to save this hand to be honest with you. Nah, we'll attach to Lele. It's fine. Nah, we'll be okay. We'll probably have to get rid of the other DC though, so we might have to swing with Lele next turn. We'll have to see, though. My opponent will do a Professor Sycamore. He's going to dump his hand, so... Interesting. He plays Delinquent. Okay. So he will be able to retreat. Uh, let's see if he even hits me hard. But the good thing is, this guy has 130 HP, which is a good number for Galley to hit. No, he's going to do 20. Wow, not even energy in the discard. So, how do we make this work? We need to keep this thing in our hand. Or I can, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we float the, the Oranguru. Hmm. Hold on, this is actually... Okay, I think we have to get rid of the Ultra Ball in the uh, Sycamore to pull this off. Yeah, we'll have to just put the DC on something else. Maybe I'll just attach it to Tapu Lele then. That's fine. If we're going to pull this off. We're going to have to play the DC probably on Lele, which, you know, whatever. That's what it is. That's fine. And attack with Lele. It would be nice to take a knockout here on this uh, Volk, not going to lie. And we actually hit DC, so now I'm a little sad. 
We'll do order pet, try and hit a false elevation kit. Okay, that I haven't gotten a single head with this yet. Come on. Um We'll do this now. And ooh, nice, we did get the aerodactyl. Alright, so that's good. I'm just gonna swing with Lele. Uh we'll do Primo Wishin. Wouldn't mind getting Guzma, there we go. I might actually just draw that now, to be honest with you, because I do want to have Guzma for next turn. So I can bring out one of these folks and start putting damage on it. I wouldn't mind getting Shrine of Punishments either, in all honesty. Oh, I guess I could have done Instruct, but whatever. We'll we'll just uh, hit him here, which is fine. We could have one-shot him with Gallade. It's fine, though. Lele can shield the damage. As long as it doesn't get like, an insane amount of steam ups off and does me hard, I'll be, I'll be okay. Because we might need Shrine of Punishments very soon, guys. For this matchup, Shrine of Punishments... He's good. He's going to put his Scorched Earth in place, so he's going to be able to build up his Pokemon bit. He's playing Delinquent, which is a very interesting card to see, so that's something we have to watch out for. Two floats going on Volk, okay. And again, next turn, we'll lose the Volk. Probably just swing with Jet Draft, to be honest with you. At some point, we'll do Battle Comp. Okay. Do they have a Supporter? They didn't do a Sycamore. They got rid of one of their Versus Seekers. Okay, they get rid of Blacksmith. Ooh. Forgot about Blacksmith and Expanded. Okay, so he's going to do Colrus for 6. We'll see how hard he attacks my Tapu Lele here. He's going to put a third Vulcan down. Okay, so I haven't seen a Turdinator yet or a Ho-Oh. So I guess this is straight Volk, I guess? I guess? I mean, okay. He's got 4 energies and discard, so he's pretty stacked right now. But I think I still attack with Aerodactyl, but I don't know. We can always finish him off with Lele. So that option is available. Maybe I bring out the Volk with no Floatstone on it. I think I have to do that. It's probably good. Um, we'll do... We'll play this. Um, get back these two bad boys. We'll just try and get more Aerodactyls in play. See if we can hit one. Nope. See if we can hit one again. Okay, nice. We do get Aerodactyl. We're not going to have any more Bench Room right now. That's fine. Uh, we'll do Primo Wishing. Okay, I was looking for maybe a special charge, but we don't find it. Um, Via Seeker seems like a good draw. And I guess Unknown... I don't know. Unknown could be good, because if Aerodactyl does get knocked out next turn or something, I guess we have the option to like do the Primo Wishing guaranteed what we want with Unknown, I guess. That's kind of my idea there. We'll just Jet Draft him for 120. Maybe I should have gone Ultra Ball too, because then I could do another Max use Gallade. I don't know if I want to do that now, though. What I'm more worried about is DC Conservation, because we have an, a Lele with two on. But Lele can attack, so there's that. My opponent will do another Verse Seeker. Okay, I was just like, are they going to do AZ there and screw me over? But nope. I was going to say, Via Seeker 4 AZ, but they're actually doing Blacksmith on this Volk here. Do they have a third float? No, they're actually just letting me knock him out. Um, I might just spread- I'm gonna spread out the love, guys. I'm gonna spread out the love, and we're actually gonna Guzma up this Volk. How much is Lele doing? 80, 120, not a- not enough. Do I just let Lele get KO'd? I think I do. I- I actually think it's better to get Lele. I think it's better to sacrifice DCE so we can get them back. We'll do Primo Wishin. And there's another DC that is perfect. Probably going to need mail to follow up with. Seems fine. And we'll swing with Lele. We're not going to KO him, but my idea here, if I had Choice Band, we would, but this list doesn't play Choice Band. Maybe it's something you can add, because Choice Band, you know, 160 with Shine is 170. Would have been really nice in this situation to actually... Oh, no, we wouldn't have KO'd him. We would need Shine to pull it off, but it's fine. Uh, my opponent... It's actually going to do Tate and Liza, but the good thing here, we spread a lot of damage, which I like. Um, I like having these Volks being heavily damaged. Once we do find one of our Shrine Punishments, these Volks will have a few turns to live. He will KO me, and I don't mind him wasting his big attack on my Lele either. I don't hate that. Plus, I want to get the DCs and Discard Pals so I can shuffle them back on the deck with Special Charge. That's kind of why I want Lele to go down. Plus, get it, out, get it out of the way. If I do play Shine down, I don't want to lose Lele. I want Lele to do something, because I want to find Shine. Lele can take a lot of damage. You know, you get what I mean, right? I'm actually more happy he didn't knock me out with Volk. But, uh, we're going to just keep going with Jet Draft here. 
We'll do Primo Wishin. Okay, not much. We'll grab Mail. I guess we'll do Unknown, grab Mail. I'm really looking for, like, a Sycamore or something right now. That'd be nice. I mean, I know what I'm getting, but um, I think we'll get Battle Compressor. Okay, so. We'll get rid of one Battle Compressor. We won't need that anymore. We'll get rid of... We'll get rid of an Ultra Ball, and that's probably about it. Focus Sash is going to be big. We will have to play Shaman. That's fine, though. It is an easy target for him, but it's fine. Ooh, red card. That's a good draw. Cynthia, too. Okay, we'll red card him. Let's play two via Seeger, so we'll see if he gets anything off this. Probably, though. Not gonna lie. We'll do Cynthia. There's a Ranguru. I'm looking for special charge or trying to punish me. So we don't find it. We actually found Focus Ash, but I'll grab via Seeker instead. I'm going to Stretcher, Shuffle Back, Lele, and two Unknowns. We might need Lele for that final Kuzma, who knows. Yeah, we'll just knock him out with Jet Draft. Aerodactyl may get killed in return by a Via Seeker for Blacksmith, so we do have to be careful for that. We do get another Max. He's another male. Male's good, especially if we are looking for that Special Charge. We're really going to need Special Charge here after this turn. Wouldn't be surprised if he had a Blacksmith in his hand. We did Red Card him, though. Hopefully red card saves us a little bit. Not finding Shrine is a little unfortunate though. I was hoping we would be able to get it. Ultra Ball. I don't know if he's playing Lele or not. No, he's playing Shaman instead. Shaman's another card that I like seeing. I'm actually... Um... Shaman's good. We have enough Fia Seekers and Guzmas to KO Shaman and this Volk and win the game that way. So that's looking like it's going to have to be the play. Alright, let's see if he hits Blacksmith here. I'm assuming that's what he's looking for is one of his Blacksmiths. One of his last two Versus Seekers so he can knock out my Aerodactyl here. I'm assuming that's what he's looking for. He does annoyingly find it. That's fine though. I'm actually going to use his turn to via Seeker knock out Shaman. Or maybe I just knock out the Volt. I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll be okay, though, to win this game, to be honest. I'm even going to put a ring guru down just to say, yo, boy, I got it. Um, I think we're, we're okay for now. Um, I don't even have any Pokemon left. That Ultra Ball is no point playing it. Special Charge. Order Pad for Special Charge would be amazing. I really, really need to get my Special Charge back. Nice. All right, good. We got it. And then next turn, um, next turn we can try and win the game. So, we'll get back these two. Yeah, so we'll KO the Shaman with Jet Draft. We'll do Primo I don't even think I did it last turn. Ooh, and there's a DC, so... Yeah, we win next turn if my opponent doesn't end me to two. We straight up have a game. Oh no, I just screwed my... I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I was going to draw with a Ranguru, but I just... No, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Hold on, do you have to grab? Put No, you have to. Dang it, I did not mean to shuffle. Why did I do that? I did not mean to shuffle, guys. No. Okay, we got to be a secret for Guzma. Oh, I didn't mean to shuffle there. That is bad. That is bad. <laughs> okay. That. Uh, we'll grab Ultra Ball for Unknown. Dang it. I did not mean to do the shuffle mechanic there. I didn't mean to shuffle. I thought I could just not shuffle and draw the cards with the Rank Guru. It's fine, though. We might get end anyways, but I did not mean to do that. I, when, uh, when I'm so deep in thought, you, you make these really dumb misplays. That may have screwed me over. If I don't win next turn, uh, this is bad. Who knows, maybe he just AZs this and sees the, see how I'm going to win, but I don't know. I do feel like a bit of an idiot for doing that misplay, not going to lie. Opponent's going to Ultra Ball away, and he did have end, so he had the option to me to two. Ah, I feel like an idiot, though, for doing that, though. I did not mean to shuffle. 
I did not mean to do that. I just thought I could draw with a Ranguru, but I'm like, oh, I'm going to shuffle with Ultra Ball. But no, he's actually just going to knock me out, so it looks like he doesn't really even have much. He could win next turn, though, if he does have, like, a Lysander or something. So we'll have to be careful. So we'll do Order Pad. Okay. We'll get Battle Compressor. I'm going to try and thin out the deck so I can guarantee that I'm going to hit those two DCs off Primo Wishin, and then we can grab Unknown with Ultra Ball. Should be able to get it, though. Like, we're going to be, like, one card off. Actually, no. No, literally, we win the game, because we'll have five cards left into the deck after this anyway, so... Yeah, pretty intense game. Um, even with that misplay, I was still able to pull off what I was trying to do here. And that's essentially just guarantee getting the DC and getting the Guzman. We have five cards left, which is perfect. We just got to put DCE on top of the deck. And that's game. We bring out that Volk with the 120 on it, which I'm glad I did do that now, because you can kind of see how that is being relevant. I can also instruct. So we basically have game. We're, we're good. We are good, and we have Guzman in our hand. We'll bring out that Volk, and we'll knock it out for the game here with Gallade and Aerodactyl beating a Volcanian deck, Turbo Turtles, whatever you want to call it, in a very intense game. We could have lost... I want to actually check how many, like, support... Did he have Ho-Oh? He had four baby Volks. Yeesh. Um, so it looks like it's just a Turbo Volk deck. Did he have... How many Lysanders did he play? So he did have one Lysander and one Guzma. And if those were in his hand, guys, if we weren't able to pull off a win there, we would have lost the game because my opponent would have just brought out Shaman and won the game there. Thankfully, we were able to do this game. 16 fires? Are you mad? And only one muscle band. Yeah, that's an interesting list. Um, but that will wrap up today's PDCGO video. We got two good games in the deck. That Volt game was pretty darn sick. Not gonna lie. That was... A really nice match. Um, but Aerodactyl Gallade, guys, it may have lost Puzzle of Time, which I'm probably gonna make the title. No puzzle, no problem. Because it's it's true. No puzzle, no problem. Um, so this deck definitely, I think, is still a decent deck to play right now. Zoark is still really big, so this deck can beat Zoark. I think if I were to make any changes, I honestly would probably take out Red Card. I think we do need double special charge in this deck. Because you saw the end of the game there. I was like, oh, I need to get special charge. I need to get those DCs back. We're also gonna be in some trouble soon. Um, so I think two special charge is probably the way to go over one. I think you can either take out one of your order pads or you can take out one of your red cards to throw in special charge. I think that would be a good idea. But overall, this deck definitely is fun to play. It's a fun deck, um, but it does have good matchups against Zoark. Obviously, Galley is a fighting type. I think it's still a good pick. Despite losing Puzzle of Time, we still made things work. Um, you know, we were still able to show off why I like resource management. We showed off both attackers. So yeah, that's going to wrap today's PC Joe video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on another video. Peace out. Have a good day. Subscribe to Help Me The Road to 4,000 subscribers if you are not already subscribed to the channel. Sub to Help Me The Road to 4K, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys on another expanded video. Peace out. Goodbye.